Welcome to uh, tutorial to correlation, part three. We're now looking at uh, types of correlation and some practical exercises with SPSS. And we'll start off with nominal, binomial data. Uh, so if we start off with nominal, binomial, uh, this describes the steps that we'll go through. We'll get frequency tables and cross tabs, or contingency, contingency tables. We'll work out the chi-squared and the phi uh, or Kramer's v, depending on the number of levels of each variable. Uh, phi is for 2x2, two 2x3 two, two or 3x2 analyses. Kramer's v is used when we have 3x3 uh, three three or greater. Uh, these are non-parametric approaches which don't make assumptions about uh, the distribution of the variables. However, we do have a minimum expected frequency of at least five cases per cell. Um, so the question that we're going to analyze here is whether or not there is an association between gender and belief in God. Uh, this could be a two by two analysis. Uh, and I'm downloading the data file. that up in SPSS. So maybe there is no relationship between gender and um, and God, belief in God, or maybe there is a relationship. Uh, gender is A1 and belief in God is B4. So following our steps, we want to get univariate frequencies on a bar chart first so that we understand the distribution of each of the variables. Analyze the triple statistic frequencies. We want gender and do you believe in God, which is B4. In charts, we click on bar chart and I'm going to get frequencies, uh, uh, percentages displayed rather than frequencies. paste my syntax and then run it from the syntax screen. Uh, so here's my frequency tables and here are my graphs. And what I note is that there is a problem with the distribution here for do you believe in God. There is some misentered data. Uh, and in addition, I might just want to focus in this case on those who said yes and no and eliminate the short alt. So here in transform, uh, we have two options for recode, into the same variables or recode into different variables. This is the preferred method, uh, it's safer, it, you won't overwrite your data. So I put in B4, and the new variable name is going to be B4R. I can label that God Recoded, click on Change, and then go to my old and new value. Now there's no one right way to do this, but if we do a simple mapping, we want the zeros, which are the yeses, to still be zero. And we want the ones, which are the no's, to still be one. However, the two, which are the short of's, we now want them to be if they're missing, and uh, same with the threes. Continue, paste, run this syntax. should now have changed the data. If we go to the data screen, we now have B4R, and we should add uh, or copy down the value label. We can change that down to one decimal point. And if we switch this on to its own values, we can see the yeses 